Hey guys, today I have an unboxing and review for you the UDI RC Power Temple Boat. This is an RC remote control boat, and as you can see here, it comes in this nice big package. This uses, of course, the typical 2.4 GHz uh, radio frequency control. I own some really nice remote control boat like the uh, Bloodjack. Some of the big, uh, big boats are a lot faster than this. Uh, this boat is uh, geared toward more, not only the beginner, but uh, you know, the more novice player also who who's into this kind of thing. And uh, it's a lot faster than your typical cheap uh, RC remote control boat. Some of the features I show you here. So we have fresh water recirculation to keep the motor cool. Uh, low battery warning. The design is a cell riding capsize, so if you flip over, it will automatically come back. That's good. You have propeller safety protection, which means it won't uh, run when it's uh, not in the water. Uh, you have 2.4 uh, gigahertz frequency, of course, 150 meter uh, operating range. And when you are out of range, it also let you know. On the side here, we have some technical information: the uh, dimension of the boat and the battery that it used. This side, just another picture of it. So let's just uh, open it and see what coming size. User menu, some instruction here. Big remote control. This is the uh, pistol grip style charger. More batteries. There's a stand that you need to assemble. So you can see here, this is uh, everything you get in the package. So I really like UDI RC. They're a great company that make a lot of these uh, nice little toy that uh, it's pretty easy to set up and it comes with everything you need. So you can see here you have your remote control. Again, this is a pretty easy remote control. I'll get into detail here. You got a boat, a small little stand that you can set up, very easy to do that. Two batteries and you have a little uh, USB charger. It does not come with a power brick at all, so that's unfortunate, but uh, you can just use any of the your computers or any power brick to charge that. You have a extra propeller and then you have a little user menu. Uh, this user menu is pretty detailed. It has instruction on how to use the unit. As you can see here, battery installation, all the good stuff. On this side you have some operating instruction and uh, some spare part if you need to buy a spare part. So let's get into the detail here. Here is the remote control as you can see. Pistol grip style again. And you can see here, uh, here you have your throttle control down here. You have your uh, movement here. You can turn left and right on your knob. Up top here you have some uh, functionality. So these are just trim. You have a uh, left and right rudder trim. And then you have a uh, forward and backward trim. Power uh, light indicator. And in front here you have the power button to turn it on and off. This guy here take for the way battery as you can see. So it does not come with any battery for that. You have to install some. These batteries are the uh, 18650 battery. They are 1500 milliamp. And here is the boat as you can see. Really nice uh, detail. I really like the paint job here. Look like this is where the water is going to come out. Uh, water intakes at the bottom here. And these guys here are basically stabilizer to keep it uh, floating on water without flipping over. Let's open the hatch here and see what's coming inside. So here you got the big motor and it's wrapped around uh, with a coil that uh, will intake water and uh, cool down, put it down. You got your control box up there. Plug in for the batteries here. Battery pack goes right here. And there's your rudder control. So it's a very simple unit. The cap here has these nice gaskets to seal. Close this on the boat. Uh, you know, when they flip over, water is not going to get in. So very nice little design. So it's definitely not as fast as my blood jack, but uh, pretty decent. Turning radius is okay. Go. Doesn't flip over at all. So what really unique about this unit is the auto sensing to come on. Uh, you plug the battery in, it's not going to come on unless it sends water. As soon as I put it in water, I hear the motor initiate and then I hear the rudder move and then also the uh, controller start beeping to, din, 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 to connect. Let's see, I hear some water when I finish running. The run time was about 12 minutes or so. Yeah, there's a little bit of water in there. Definitely got some water inside the hole. Insulation foam is not that perfect. The water does get inside. I don't think the by design is supposed to get inside. So the battery cell got pretty warm. Um, seemed okay to touch but it's 
pretty warm after each run. This is uh, typical. And also, uh, water got around it, but nothing really a problem for this guy because the battery is actually floating on top of the unit. So you can see here, this is where the battery stay. So it's floating above the water. The water getting there is not going to be a problem. The motor is uh, actually pretty hot also, um, even though it's feeding water through here to cool down and then shoot the water out here. It still get pretty warm. I've been playing with this boat for the past two weeks or so on and off. And I have a pond nearby my house. That pond is roughly the length of a football field, if not a little bit longer. So it's a decent side pond for testing this unit. You can see from my video that the jet boat is a pretty fast boat. Uh, it's not the fastest boat out there. I have a blood jack which does about 45 miles an hour or so and it's a quite fast boat. And this does roughly about half the speed of that. But it's a much smaller unit so it does seem a lot faster. Uh, do notice that the unit itself actually uh, will not fall or tip over. It will tip over but it will you know, right, sell right back up which is very nice. Uh, there is uh, like I say mentioned before, the, there is a seal around this unit here. There's a seal around here, but water does get in when it bounces around, so uh, it will get in and stay at the bottom and use hope. So when you finish playing, uh, after about 10 minutes, that's how long the battery will run. It will have a decent amount of water in here. And uh, what I uh, noticed is that also at the beginning, of course, you have a lot of batteries, so it's strong, it runs really fast. And as, uh, you know, a few minutes into it, you realize that you get water in it, and it, it runs a little bit slower, and also the battery gets a little bit weaker. And you can see from my video, it bang and turn very well. It's a pretty fast motor, it's really nice. The control is very simple to use and uh, you know just a throttle and then you also have reverse which uh, just move it down back just a little bit just in case you get stuck or something like that. You can rotate this wheel here to basically turn left or right on it. Pretty simple unit to use, I didn't have to use the trim too much, it seemed to be pretty good out of the box. And uh, the other thing I want to point out is that when you get near toward the end, when it's near 10 minutes, it's going to slow down and also it will beep to let you know that yeah, it's running low in battery and at that time you want to bring it in. I do hear a lot of people have to use fishing pole to get their boat out, so just uh, pay attention to the time that you're playing with it. Roughly about 10 minutes to get ready to bring it in and you will notice that it's running a lot slower, so don't go out too far. And when you do go out too far, which has this thing has a range about 150 meter, which is pretty good. And uh, that's basically uh, the link of the pond, I'll go all the way down there and I was still able to get good reception. So I think 150 meter is a good number that they give you. If you're in a big old pond or a lake or something like that, it can handle that. The unit itself uh, does favor, uh, you know, smooth surface. So if you're in a lake with a lot of wave and tide, that's not going to work too well for this unit. It's going to bounce all over the place and get a lot of water. So uh, in my pond, it's very calm. It make it really nice unit to play around with. So that's where I play most of the time. Uh, it does come with two batteries, so therefore you can uh, run one uh, flat out ten minutes, so it will die, and then put the other battery in and continue running it. Well, when you finish running, you will notice that the motor is a little bit warm, but uh, there's nothing alarming. It's designed to be like that. And uh, the water do get inside, but most of the part are marine park. As long as you put the battery pack in the correct place so it's not soaking in water, it seems to be okay. I also do want to point out that the battery takes about 3 hours to charge it. And uh, since it only comes with one charger, you have to charge one at a time. I wish that they give you two chargers or give you a charger that has two different leads so that you can quickly charge them. So I'm really playing with the unit and uh, you know, it's a nice little toy f to get you started into the uh, RC boat. It's kind of uh, one of those uh, RC devices that you do have to have a place to play with it, like a pond, where the, compared to like remote control car, airplane, you can play it pretty much everywhere. But uh, you know, it's uh, very nice and it comes with a little stand for you. I'll show you. That's the stand that you assemble. So that's my quick review. I hope that helps you. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.